called Bedlam. Hello again, everyone. I'm Casey Kendrick, along with the former All-American Allie McCutcheon. And Allie, late at bats for Oklahoma, carried them to that victory. A 4-2 win around for Panagasso in her 29th year. Jada Cummings, followed by Jennings Sanders. 1-9-4. She's been in the series already, but this is her first start. Yeah, she's a master of mixing. Batting 441. One for six uh, on the series. And you get to the College World Series and you have your first one. That's a tough one to say, okay, we've gone this far. What happened? Certainly don't want to. Batting above 400 for Patty Gasso. Three for seven on the series. And try to pull that ball. That takes a lot of power, and she's got that power. This time she gets to Kylie Naomi. Naomi throws it wide of Wark, and that'll be in her first bedlam action throwing to her. So that's, that is great. We'll wait and see what the official ruling is. As that one is hit sharply into left field. Talon Edwards makes the catch. What a job by the freshman out there in left field, and that's a great. Out of Peoria, Arizona, batting 343. Batting two fifth. Well, time is going to give you confidence as a pitcher, too. Now, what is hit to Bloodworth? The throw across the diamond to Mark, and there is out number three. So, after he's off, what a season she has had. The transfer from Purdue, followed by Factor Naomi Wart, unblemished, 15 and 0 on the season. She's a transfer from Michigan a State the last couple of days. Is, is they're in the fight. I mean, they're not saying, oh, it's the number one team. Both of them pitchers, Amanda and Michelle. 3 2 spun into left field and over there able to make the play is boom. And Torres again coming over a little bit of a move and jostling in the lineup with Lions tries to do what she did in the first game and get her team on top. Starocco again a Frankfurt Illinois product and she's trying to get out number two and looks like she will get that done as Lions camps out underneath that one on the pop. Kylie is 0 for 7 in the series does have a walk. There's a walk by Naomi, and maybe that will be the spark that will get her going. It's had six opponents that have scored more than one run all season long. The Cowgirls have done it again. Out in front of that, Cowgirls trying to steal. They will not get it. That's a good throw by Lee, and Kylie Naomi in an inning of work today. She did come out on Friday, pitched two and two-thirds, gave up four hits, a couple of zero going into that seventh, but Oklahoma found four runs in the top of the set behind you because when you step up at the plate and you're facing somebody like Lexi Kilfoyle and you're not confident ooh, you just that can't home leave. run how about that giant factors hand with the only way that happens is she's at the fence waiting for it she's anticipating it not afraid of the freshman out of Phoenix batting 381 three for four on there in their <laughs> in their dugout she goes well, heck it would be nice if they got a restroom in the whole the visiting team as well and there's a strikeout for Lexi Kilfoyle and then when you're the first year but when you're in your 29th year as Riley Boone comes on mm -hmm. um, yeah. Kilfoyle and there's ball four that's the first walk issued by Kilfoyle this hand. batting 330 batting one for three on the weekend scored a all for the team your individual awards are now what is chopped to Kilfoyle Kilfoyle flips it and Mark does a good job of reaching out getting the tag and stepping on the throw down to second base more and Lee did too there's a good hit that's in the left field that's going to be a long single for Mark and the Cowgirls just like the Sooners have one batting 400 on the weekend with a double and a walk it's about the W but if the Cowgirls had had 22 left on base and still lost, they would have felt miserable about not getting timely hitting. Unlike what we just saw there from Morgan Wynn. Defense, not just early in the game, but all the way through the game. Oklahoma product Caitlin Carlisle lays down the bunt and they will get the lead runner. And Kenny Gajewski is talking it over. Just a freshman batting 322 for seven. Had that trip. Outfield, are they going to be able to make that play? Yeah, any play just challenging her a little bit. That one is going to float into center field, and Coleman drops it and makes the throw, and then they get the Oklahoma State there. Great job by Coleman. Heady play makes the throw out of Oceanside, California, batting 294. Ability this week as well, and that one is hit. Kylie Naomi over her shoulder. Great play by the senior, super senior. 
for web gym number two on the day. Cowgirls are making it a habit. The same conference, you see each other three, four. How do you make a double play against uh, Tiara Jennings with her speed? At told me that stat earlier. I don't know if you got that from artificial intelligence or if you knew that. But Which stat was that? The, the three ambulance appearances. So. <laughs> but no, that's, I mean, truly, Inside it is. Tells you lined out her first time, the designated player batting 292. Here's the 1 0. And they're running. And no. The throw was in time, but the tag. They're in scoring position. Yeah, the Sooners threatening. It's exactly yeah. right. And there's ball four. And that brings up the. It's only the second walk, but that'll bring up the cleanup horse in any bag. But for Oklahoma State, obviously, you want to keep this thing in the infield. They led in game one. Trying to lead in game two. That was going to be hit into the outfield. No. Great effort by Carwell, but it bounces. It will score one, it will score two, and the center right field, Carwell, so, so very close. If she makes that catch, they're out of the inning. But knowing, like I said, factors got her back. Go ahead and brings up Haley Lee. She had a home run, but she didn't because here's a 2-2. Big pitch in this ball game, and that one is hit. Bloodworth makes a great play. Good throw, and there's out number three. But the Sooners from Jada Coleman, Tiara Jennings, and Jordy Ball, and you got two. One pitcher. And the amazing part is they're all three worthy. I mean, all three capable of winning that. That one is hit by Taylor Tuck underneath it. Sliding over is the first baseman, Erickson, for out number one. Bloodworth, the sophomore, 0 for 3 in the series, batting 202. We're going to see the same pitch the first time up, second time up. And oh. another one over there in foul territory. So Erickson is for three yesterday. She is back on a tear. Some of the lineup certainly yesterday that provided the runs for the Cowgirls. That one is hit in the gap. Terrific play. What a move by Jennings. Got there, flipped the hit, turned around. And her first time up does have home run power. Six home runs on the season for challenge. Yeah. It's, it's a challenge whole different, different challenge. And the other part about that is that one is going to get past Bloodworth at third. And Erickson will have a single here. Fielder walked her first time up and for her first a fit true of Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. Right. Is that what is hit? Bloodworth gets the lead runner. So throw to second or throw to first rather from second, not in time. So that'll be they need to onto the field. Don't you? Oh, use they brought Haley Lee behind the plate. Deep, oh, yeah. deep out there. It's so tough. to be able to make that transition, that's pretty says something. Yeah. That one is going to hit into center field, and now the Sooners will have run put runners in motion. Does Taylor Tuck fake and go back to third base to try to Sooners are so hard to score on. Went there's to the, the fake. And there's the fake down the line yep. and the runner at third holding, so no throw. And now. And there's a walk. So the bags are a little bit of action in the bullpen. Kelly Maxwell. Opportunity to score many runs. They are in the driver's seat. There's the throw. Forces there at home. And oh my. Coming Ooh, in is Boone. Kind of and I think he did. And we might have a review. We're going to look at Tuck's foot and see if she's on home plate or not. She's she is there. well yeah. on home plate. So maybe yeah. because it prevents her from making a throw to first. Mm. So I think that thing for Jennings, she's 0 for 2 today. And that may be even the worst news. <laughs> she's. 2 1. That was hit right back to Kilfoyle. Makes the play. Makes the throw in time. Bases loaded. Jam. Nobody is able to make it happen here. Back to the drawing board a yeah. little bit. A little bit. Some of it may just be a little bit of a, you know, CLA like leaving the Pac 12. Crazy stuff. That one is hit into right field off of a full count. Trouble. And a single for Cheyenne. She may have been able to take two. Absolutely. That's a great yeah. point. Yeah. First at bat thing happened with a bad pitch. Yeah. That is a beautiful luxury as that one is hit right back to the shortstop. Lions has it. And out number one as Naomi lines out. Wark had a single her first time up. Batting 333, nine home runs on the. And here's the 3 1. That's ball four. Wark draws the walk, and the Cowgirls have runners at first and second. Fly rule. Yep, absolutely. Morgan win the double. 
So what that tells me is they're going to pitch win on the inside. And they get the strikeout right there. It was on just the a kid that can show a lot of power last year. Struggling mm -hmm. a little bit with that this year with no way to make something happen with the runners on. And there's a strikeout, and there it is, a 1,000 in her career. And it happens on Caitlin Carwile. So 1,000. When you've got two strikes, you've got to pull the trigger on it. Gems, we've already talked about the home run robbing catch by Factor and Center. That one is hit to Naomi. The throw off the bag, and that's another one that's off the bag today. We've seen that a few stretch. She came off the bag. Uh, it's close, I guess, every single inning. Well, and again, thinking of how well the Cowgirls have played defensively, the top teams, the teams that win the, the championship every year. That bunt laid down. Bloodworth makes the throw. Not in time. So after your flight out, grounded out, and very. And there's ball four. So Lee is batting 384. And the Cowgirls have been able to handle. There's a big swing and a miss. That's a big strike out there as Kilfoyle comes right at Lee, or excuse me, at Erickson. And this weekend, first opportunity today, 0 for 2 looking for her first ball game. That one is hit. They will try the force at home. They get it, and that's the second time we've seen that in as many innings. Great job by Bloodworth. Came home and make Stays on her feet this time. Melissa Brito does not slide into her. So a fielder's choice to Bloodworth to come right back home for out number two. That one is hit. It's a flare, and it's trouble. And it will score two for the Sooners. Kylie Naomi in front of Talon, Talon Edwards, and there's a two-run shot. In between infield and outfield, you get two RBIs, and Talon Edwards didn't keep that ball in front of her. That's the tough one because those short hops for outfielders, you don't work on those, so you wouldn't, you weren't leaving your body over the plate to get hit. Quincy Lilio did trying to keep it to four, and she does with a strikeout. Way out front is Quincy Lilio early in the ball game. Trying to help her team out, but she pops that one up to St Starocco, and Starocco who's 15 in her tuck. Three for three yesterday. Batted in. Step up and be a leader, not just an example, but somebody who whose voice is loud. That was a good hit ball, but rightening 250. She That's hasn't had as many at-bats this year. She's in front and there strikeout number 100 on the season for Starocco this year and I think that their program has produced some great and hits Coleman I think that's the third time in this series she's been hit that's a battle that's a you love having <laughs> that just means you're playing <laughs> We just talked about those better bears, and I agree. They're obviously pretty good. As that one's ripped back up the middle, that's going to be a single. So after the walk, now a single to me is back in, and we saw this in the bottom. That's Tuck has the ball at her feet. The runners will run, and now you. I watch Oklahoma State. Mm -hmm. They run like we do. They hit like we do. Just asking, asking too much. That one is hit. Bloodworth. It's a foul ball. Made contact with it just outside the line. Patty Gasso doesn't like the call. Now, if she wants to challenge the call. That one is popped up, and Wark will come over and make the play. So one. Lyon spins that one into right field. Carwile is going to get underneath it. Coming in, her momentum. She'll make the throw, and she missed. Oh, I thought she missed the plate. And she touched home plate with that left. Well, she just came yeah. across the back edge of it there with that foot. <laughs> Brings up Haley Lee. And that one is popped up. And Kilfoyle is going to give way to Wark. Wark will make the catch. And two. So that is set as Rachel Becker will pop out to left field to start things here in the bottom of the six for the Oklahoma.
Three home runs, two grand slams, and 10 RBI. Softball. <laughs> okay, so three softball, home runs and softball is just as high school doesn't deserve any credit. Now there's a rip into left field by Cheyenne. Factor say three home runs in one game, I don't care what it is. Pretty impressive. Oh, sure. Has struggled so far in this series. That one is hit sharply into left center. And Coleman over to make the out. Today batted 333. In on senior day here in Stillwater. That one is hit down the line. It's fair. That will be a double. Will it score one? It will. That's going to be an RBI double for Michaela Wark. He just gets past. Erickson at first goes all the way almost to the corner coming up with the throw as Torres to second base. They were not even position with an opportunity here. Straco going ahead hot in this Oklahoma State lineup. Man, that one hits the outside corner though. There's a strikeout and that'll end the rally. The Cowgirls do drop a curve and she's around 70 miles an hour plus depending on the day. She has the plate in on Kyra Acock. Betting one. And misses on that one. There's a ball for walk for Green. For herself, 0 for 1 today with a walk. Fielder's choice batted three. Likely a threat to run. And the Cowgirls going to try to turn two. And they throw one away. Comes right back. So they get the. Made that attempt. Tried to get back to the bag. Walk cut her off. Tag her for. Two RBI double. That was chopped over the head of the pitcher, but Kylie Naomi nice is there play. in time. Great defensive effort for the guy. There hasn't been any anything over the fence other than what Cheyenne. Again, the great effort by Cheyenne Factor. The Cowgirls have a leadoff single to give themselves hope in the bottom of the seventh. Change with Lilio getting the start. Defined this year and there's one that's hit to the right fielder. The newly entered right fielder makes the play, tries to throw it back in. That was way closer than anybody. 0 for 2 today with the pop out and the line out. She went off yesterday and they need her to come up. Pops it up. Third baseman over. Brito is able to get there and makes the catch for out number two. Player batting 259 has had a chance in this series. Headed on a collision oh, yeah. course down there and. Still certainly a possibility. Lions underneath it. And there you go. That is the ball game. But again, just a few, two more bats for Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma State just ran out of gas there. They weren't coming for Oklahoma, and they were able to put a couple in play that were able to make them uh, get the win. So, Terrence Still and Allie McCutcheon, I'm Casey Kendry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for Big 12 Now on ESPN.